So I met KJ Sam through Roblox. A real life friend introduced me to her on Roblox. We started playing. My friend May had another situation going on. Just like Ria, I was introduced by the same in real life friend. When I met KJ Sam, she was really nice. However, like Ria said, my situation was different. When she had added me, I did not know what to do. I usually didn't accept friend requests, so I nicely told her, "Sorry, I do not accept friend requests." A few weeks later, just like us, KJ Sam had started her brand new YouTube channel, and just like she did for our channels, we had started to support hers. Eventually, because she was so very nice to me, I decided to accept her friend request. Later that day, I decided to join a game to play Roblox with her, not knowing she was recording a trading video for her YouTube channel. As I began to look around in the game, I saw that the person she was trading had a queen bee, so I thought she was trading for a queen bee. I was right; she was. When their trade was successful, I felt happy for KJ Sam. However, after the trade, she said, "Okay, now trade back." I was confused. What was happening? I left the game, unable to determine what had happened. Then I got a notification from her YouTube channel. She had just uploaded a video of her getting a queen bee for her unicorn, dragon, etc. I knew this video was completely fake, so I decided to join her in game again. As I joined, I asked her, "Where is your queen bee?" She said, "Here it is." Still sketchy, Ria and I decided to question her again. Weren't you making a neon unicorn? I asked. She answered, "I didn't actually do that trade. I got a queen bee from another offer, but just uploaded the first offer I had." I was disappointed. She was lying to her fans. It wasn't right. I told her she would she shouldn't do that, but she refused and said, "It's just a video. Geez, I didn't think you would get so worked up about it." But in reality, we were just confused. After the situation happened, I commented nicely and politely on her video, saying, "Please don't lie to your fans." KJ Sam didn't accept that, so she started telling us to stop hating on her when all we were doing is to prevent her from lying to her fans. May had later unfriended her because of her actions and attitude. One month later, May and I checked on our YT videos for fun. When we noticed, we had gotten a lot of dislikes, so we decided to confront KJ Sam because we might have thought it was her, since we had lost contact with her after the previous conflict. When we confronted her, we found out it was her disliking our videos from different accounts. We only found this out through our really close friend in real life, who had introduced KJ Sam to us in the first place. In case you don't believe us, it's fine. We understand. We haven't really shown any proof, but here's the proof, guys. And you also know this is her because if you um open her profile, which is this, the um only person she's following is um KJ Sam three four five, and on top of that, if you go to KJ Sam three four five, um profile, 
and click on her followers. You can see that one hate on May Plays was there, and she made another one. And she must be really desperate for <laughs> followers, because if you click on all of the hate accounts, she's joined the group. Mm -hmm. So she's desperate for not only followers, but also group members. Sucks to be her. So that's basically it, guys. Don't send hate to KJ Sam because you'll be no better than her. We just wanted to make this video to inform you guys because you guys have been asking why May and me have been getting a lot of hate on her videos and on, and on my videos. So I hope you enjoyed the video once again. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so whenever I post, you'll get informed. Bye, guys!